Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales tutorial video. Today, learn how to get all the NFTs of any wallet using React Native. So, in this example project, I have my application over here with an input field on which you can put any wallet address you want. And if we click on Get NFTs, we are going to have the information of all the NFTs this wallet has for the selected network. So, if you want to learn how to accomplish this, keep watching because we are just getting started. What's up, YouTube? My name is Vasily, your Web3 instructor from Latin America, Ecuador. I've been building on the space since 2020 with cool crypto projects. In my free time, I really enjoy singing and playing the guitar. And if the time is good, I like to go out and take some meditations. But enough about me. Let's go back to the video and start building. So here we have this example project on which I have the same application I just show you, but for now this button doesn't do anything at all. So in order for this to work, we need to get information out of the blockchain. And for that, of course, we need to use Morales. Today, we are going to use the endpoint get NFTs by wallet provided by the Morales API. Here we have the code for different programming languages. Today we are going to create a simple server using Flask and here we have all we need to get this done. So I'm going to copy this and return to my project. Here I have another folder called backend on which I have this application.py on which I'm creating a really simple Flask server. Let's paste what we get from Morales and here we have all the information we need. I'm just going to delete this Morales import because I already have it over here and I'm also going to delete the API key because again I already have it over here. This API key is going to be stored in this .m file as a security measure because adding an API key into your code constitutes a security risk. So here we have this information but as we are using this into a server, we need to create a new endpoint to interact with this server and make the call to the Morales API. Also, don't forget that you must install the Morales package with pip install Morales in order to be able to use this. So let's get started with that. First of all, let's create a new root. So app.root is going to be called get user NFTs. And here we are going to create a new view. So, dev get NFTs. And I just need to put all the information we have from the Morales endpoint and wrap it inside of the function. And here we are going to change some parameters. First of all, I want to get the wallet address from this input field over here. So I'm going to say the address is going to come from the arguments sent from the front end, or in this case, from the application. And I'm going to change the parameters also over here. The address is going to be this new variable address. And I'm also going to set up the chain. As we are using a testnet today, let's get the information of the NFTs for the Sepolia network. I'm going to set up a limit of 100, an empty cursor. And I also want the data came from the response as normalized metadata. This is going to auto format all the token URI for us. Let's save this and this is it. This is the only thing we need in order to get the information out of the blockchain using Morales. So instead of just printing this result, I'm going to return this as a JSONify string using JSONify from Flask. Additionally, I have to create an entry point for this server. So if name equals main, I'm going to run this on my local host on the port 5002. The only thing left for this script for us is to provide the Morales API key. So if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the time of the video for you to hit pause, go to morales.io and here in your admin panel, you are going to get access to your free API key. This API key is really good for testing purposes or small projects, but if you're working with a big NFT collection or marketplace, step up your blockchain game with Morales Pro. With twice the computing power and more requests, you can handle even the most demanding projects. Plus, enjoy unlimited daily records on your streams with automatic retries for a seamless experience. And with more replays and longer retention for your historic streams, you'll never miss a beat. Don't settle for basic, upgrade to Morales Pro today and take your projects to the next level.
So I'm just going to copy my API key over here, go back to my project and paste it on the .m file. Remember this is sensitive information, so please do not share this API key with anyone. I'm going to save this and this is it. We have the endpoint we need to get the information of any wallet NFTs for the Cephalia network. Now let's use that on the actual application. So let's go back to the app.tsx and start using all that information. So let's create first function called get NFTs. So let's say const response is going to be equal to await axios.get. We need to connect to the endpoint of that server. So for that, we need to initialize the server on our terminal. So here I'm going to say Python app.py this is going to initialize the server on this port let's copy this let's go back to visual studio code put the ip address over here we are going to connect to the endpoint get user nfts and here we need to send the address the address is going to be equal to the wallet address this wallet address variable is related to this variable over here which is going to be set up when we change the value of this text input field. So let's say once we connect to the endpoint, we need to decide what we are going to do with that information. So we are going to take the response. And for now, let's just console.log the response.data.result. And as a good practice, I'm going to also add a catch statement if something goes wrong so error and console.log that error now we need to use this function every time we click on this get nfts so let's copy this name go back over here and replace this empty on press with that functionality now we can test this out so let's put here a wallet address let's click on get nfts and if this worked properly, we can go to the terminal and here on the console of the application, we are going to get all the information as a long JSON file. So now we can take this information and start rendering new NFTs for each one of these. So let's go back to the code and create a new interface on TypeScript to set up the information we are going to take of those NFTs. So here I'm going to create a new variable called NFTs. This is going to use the any type. And here let's create that interface. So interface NFT. This is going to set up an owner, which is going to be a string, and the normalized metadata, which is also going to contain a lot of strings, such as the image, the name, the description, and the attributes. Now here let's replace this console.log and instead of that use that set nfts function with the response.data.result and create a new nft card so let's say const nft card is going to be equal to the nft and the nft is going to be a type of the interface we just created nft this is going to be a function and inside of the function we are going to return a new view which is going to contain the image and all the text we just declared here such as the name the description and the attributes this is good just for rendering one nft card but we want to render one for each one of the nfts we get from the response so i'm going to say const rendered nfts is going to be equal to nfts and nft this dot map again the type is going to be the same as the interface the index is going to be a number and we are going to render a nft card we just created over here for each nfts on the index let's save this and now on the bottom we can add here that rendered nfts let's save all of this let's paste again the wallet address and click on get nfts and as you can see here, we are getting all that information. We just need until we get the images, which sometimes get a little longer to get rendered. But as you can see here, we have the exact same response as we did 
at the beginning of the video. And we can do this for any chain we want. So for example, if I change the network from Cefolia to Goerli, save this, let's click again on get NFTs, and this is going to render all the NFTs for that network. And as easy as that, you just learn how to integrate Moralis API endpoints into your React Native projects for any mobile application you want. If you want more tutorials on React Native, such as how to connect MetaMask directly to your application and more, please let us know on the comments below. And that was it for today's tutorial. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo, so check out the link on the description. And as you are already here, click over here to subscribe to Morales' channel, turn on the notifications, and also check out more videos. Thanks for watching till the end, and see you on the next occasion.